All right, well, I'm Peter Larson, and today I welcome you to a very special coronavirus version of Segments on a Segway. And it's going to be focused on the Segway itself and how that can relate to coronavirus. How can it? Well, here's how it can. Looking at this device, if I want to go forward on a Segway, all I do is lean forward and I lean and I go forward. If I want to go backward, I lean backward and I go backward. And it's that way with coronavirus and the whole society. And here's how. We have a lot of people leaning forward saying, we need to open the businesses up. We need to open up schools. We need to get back to work. Let's lean forward and let's get the economy back going. And then we've got a lot of people saying, lean back. No, no, let's pump the brakes a little bit. Schools don't need to be open. We need to have more people in quarantine. We need to be safer. We need to have more social distancing. And they're leaning back into that. So you've got folks leaning forward and you've got leaning back. But if you notice, that only goes in one direction, forward or back. The only way to turn is with this middle pole and moving your whole body against that and you can turn. And that represents voting. So the only way you can turn and make the change that you want is through voting. And so today's segment on the Segway is focused on leaning forward, yes, leaning back, both are important, but it all centers on that vote and that right there. And that's today's segment on a Segway.